What's going on, everybody? It's Philly Cardinch here, back here, episode two of the Miami Dolphins rebuild. Um, as we all know, last year did not go as planned. Uh, trying to look here at the spreadsheet as so I get it pulled up because I do not remember what our finishing record was. Uh, four eleven and one is what we finished off last year. Taking a look at the team, we're a 78 overall, 76 offense. If I read it right, 81 defense. All right. So as we look here, get, getting into the team, Tua came up as a star dev. Uh, we drafted Chuba Hubbard to be our lead back, along with Jalen Waddle. Um, hopefully we can get solid dev trade out of him. Really disappointed that you know, we didn't at least have somewhat of a hidden dev for Chuba Hubbard. But I mean, it is what it is. We'll, we'll deal with it. Offensive line, still developing. We got Eric Flowers is our only, you know, above 70. And if I remember correctly, he got hurt last season. Uh, looking at the defense, you know, it it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I mean nothing, nothing really stand out here. Uh, we got a couple guys there on the trade block, uh, McCain and Eric Rowe. Try to make you know get a little, little out of nothing. You know, those guys, they're they're getting older. We got younger replacements, so uh, we want to get to you know the right place with this franchise here in five years where we can you know, win a Super Bowl year, year, year five, eat better yet, win it before then. So we're going to jump here into this season. Uh, we get to take on the Atlanta Falcons as our first home game. I had to go take time, make sure the injuries were on for uh, for the start of year two here. Uh, and like I said, we'll jump in. We'll uh, you know let the sim handle its thing. See if we can go out there and beat the Falcons. And a absolutely brutal loss there, forty-two to three. Um, definitely not how we want to start this. Uh, anytime your defense just you know gets destroyed, we had thirty rushing yards the entire game. That offensive line is garbage. Two didn't play particularly well. He had 150 yards, one interception, no touchdowns, rushing. Not what, you know, maybe it's just that adjustment period for uh, Chuba. You know, 10 for 22. Yasiki led the way. You know, Waddle didn't have a bad initial game. Uh, defensively, Xavier Howard and player F, if you remember, in. Episode one, I cannot pronounce his name. You know, they both led the way with nine tackles. So, like I said, that is not the way we want to start this rebuild. Getting absolutely destroyed. We do got some upgrades here to take. Um, Austin Jackson, anything to help our linemen get up there. Get in the 70s. It'd be nice to have somebody with a dev trait. Instead of just looking there all at bronze. But I mean, it is what it is. We do have a trade offer for Devontae Parker. As we take a look, like I said, it's more, we're trying to get more draft capital. If you guys remember, we traded our second, our first pick in the second round uh, last season to get more capital. There in 2022, so I mean, it, it's time. We'll we'll move on from Parker. We got some young guys underneath. You know, let them you know step up. 
Yes, our offense dropped in overall, but that is another cap that we do not have anymore. That goes and puts uh, Jakeem Grant back in the slot, which last season put up ridiculous numbers. Um, over just like that. You know, his first couple years in the league, absolutely all that does not even touch what he got in the slot last year. Over a thousand yards, the only a thousand yard receiver on our team. We get him back up there. Uh and we wish Devontae Parker the best of luck in New England, which now that I'm thinking about it. We get to put, you know, go and play him twice a year. So, yeah. So getting into this Jags game, jump ahead. Maybe we can pull this out. Maybe we can keep it a little closer. And we do. 23 to 20. Able to uh, win. Uh, taking a look at it here. How do we win it? It was still a close game. But the way I look at it is a win is a win. And, you know, Tua, did he get hurt? All right, so Tua must have got hurt that game and at least knocked him out for the, you know, the game. For what he did, 131, one touchdown, no interception, didn't get sacked at all. Had to throw in Darike King out of Miami into his first you know, first gameplay of you know, his NFL career. One thirty nine, one touchdown, three interceptions. Not not the way that we want to see it go. Rushing Chuba Hubbard you know, thirteen fifty nine, better. You know, Howard contributed. King and Patrick Laird, receiving wise, Gasecki still led the team. Uh, Gasecki and Waddle were the ones that got the touchdowns. Defensively, Tamu, nine tackles. A uh, couple TFLs there. Nothing major. And, you know, two sacks by Van Noy, Brandon Jones, and Jerome Baker contributed to half a sack. All right. We're going to jump in here to this first game of the season against the England Patriots, especially that we traded Devontae Parker there. Uh, we'll take a look, see what my still got. Uh, you know, Gilmore and McCourty, that's their two X factors. They don't have any superstars. Um, so, I mean, they're a six point. Uh, you know, overall difference. So it'll be interesting to see. Hopefully with Tua, we can go and pull this one off. Okay, Cam. So Cam a able to use his legs, you know, use that dual threat quarterback that he is to pick up nine yards on the first play of the game. When we get blocked up, but at least Xavier Howard was able to get there, make the tackle. Michelle one for thirty-six. Patriots on two plays are moving the ball very easy on the. Wouldn't let me switch to uh, Xavier and Howard to even try to make a play on the ball. Took me to the safety. But Devontae Parker showing us that he should not have traded him.
I believe Trevor Hubbard just got injured on that last play. You know, hopefully stop the New England Patriots. So we got a chance on offense to be able to go secure the lead. Right, we were able to force the sack. Here comes a punt. I believe Chubba Hubbard. So other than the, the two first rounders there, but the only solid that we're looking at, uh, you know, get a couple more upgrades. So Byron Jones to go up to a 91. Keep working his zone. Keeping him that scheme fit. Yeah, we'll just we'll send the rest just just because it it takes too long to click in, do all that good stuff. Uh, looking at the players that want to negotiate, Mike Gesicki. You know, yes, we want to keep him here. You know, offer him that five year deal. Hopefully, he'll take it. He will. So we got our tight end locked up. Ogbo's been playing pretty solid. Preston Williams this season, you know, we're going to get any more play, you know, especially since we keep dropping games. 27 to 10. It, this is horrible. Like, why aren't we able to contend at all, at least keep some of the games close? All right, 2 and 8 Dolphins against the 5 and 5 Buccaneers. I don't even know if Brady's still their quarterback. Um, if he is, if he's not, they toasted us. Let's take a look to see who is the, uh, who's the Bucks quarterback now. And it is still Brady. 44 years old. You know, just cooking us. Still holding on, you know, to that overall fairly well. 87. You know, they... From what I see, their team hasn't changed. Uh, all right, Rondell Moore, which is just a younger, better version of Scotty Miller there. I mean, even, you know, another, you know, Chris Godwin. So, Bucks are still, still dangerous. So in that 34 to 13, you know, blowout loss, we ended up losing Camus Gruger Hill, the team's leading tackler, for three weeks due to a torn labrum. Um, as now, I mean, the Jets, you know, as we all know, the Jets were in complete rebuild mode, you know, as of last year, and now they're sitting at seven and four. So. Whatever they're doing, maybe we should go ahead and look, you know, maybe bring some of their front office in. Uh, as we drop 24 to 10, putting us at 2 and 10 on the season. And as the Jets, you know, improved to 8 and 4, I think it is. 
All right, two and ten dolphins now. Yeah, um, it's sad. I only get to change the last number for us. Here we go, taking on the five and seven Tennessee Titans. Most likely another loss. And somehow we, we pulled out 35 31. Finally get a win. Maybe, maybe it's because we went and signed. We extended, you know, Preston Williams and a few of those other guys. I believe Chubba Hubbard just got injured on that last play. Just what we need. Give us that extra 15 on the face mask. I'll take it. Makes that field goal you know, that much easier. As you can see, Chubba Hubbard bruised ribs. We can't lose you, man. We got to you know, keep you at least healthy since you're able to return. So go ahead, sit this one out. Guado, touchdown. Miami wins. All right, as we enter week four, after that big win in overtime versus the division rival Patri Patriots, we have a frustrated receiver, Preston Williams. He's frustrated. Jalen Waddle, Jakeem Grant, they've been doing you know more of the receiving, so it's understandable that he is frustrated. Hopefully, we can get him. Get him the ball a little more. Um, we'll take a look at you know the contracts that we got coming up here uh, after the bye week. That way we can kind of assess, see you know where the team is. You know, hopefully we can get this week four win, go up to uh, what is it, three and one in the year. So we'll go. We'll. Hit up the scouting, uh, definitely looking offensive line. Uh, just that's that's what we need. They're they're slowly improving, but they're not. Uh, we'll take a look at the draft stories, see if there's any more, and there is. Uh, you know, Trey Wen. All right, so left tackle could be a possibility. We'll go take a look at him. Uh, we, we, we at least have an idea if I, if I already scouted him. Yeah. I mean, he, he's coming in as a projected first round, but he has a red trip, red chip, uh, you know, third. I don't know why I would be keeping an eye on him. As you can see, tackle is absolutely horrible. Maybe one of the, all right. So. The two first round grade guards possibility. And with that, we can always look at moving on from uh, Eric Flowers eventually. His, like I said, his contract is ridiculous. We have some coach XP. We might as well go ahead, jump in, you know, use that. Of course, we're going to upgrade that and get our offensive line the extra boost of experience points. Um, as we continue through this season. There we go. As we, you know, suffer another loss, putting us, you know, back to two and two on the year. 19 to 10 to the Colts. Preston Williams, he's not happy. Could he be looking to force a trade? Uh, you know, Van Noy wants to talk about, you know, bye week. Look, we came off a loss. 
you need that extra preparation. We rode that high that we had too much over the with the win over the Patriots. So, yeah, morale will go down, but we need as much experience points that we can get. Uh, finish out the scouting here. So we're taking a look here, offensive line. So other than the the two first rounders there. But the only solid that we're looking at. Uh, you know, get a couple more upgrades. So Byron Jones to go up to a 91. Keep working his zone. Keeping him that scheme fit. Yeah, we'll just, we'll send the rest just. Just because it it takes too long to click in, do all that good stuff. Uh, looking at the players that want to negotiate, Mike Gesicki, you know, yes, we want to keep him here. You know, offer him that five-year deal. Hopefully take it. He will. But we got our tight end locked up. Ogbo's been playing pretty solid. Preston Williams... He wants to stay. Jordan Howard, another one that's going to be more, you know, seeing how he does towards the end of the year. We got Chuba, so, you know, does the two back set really work? Does Chuba need to be have more of that star role? Jerome Baker will get him whenever he comes up. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we're gonna go. We're just gonna lock up our kicker, keep him. That way, we don't have to waste anything signing him. He wants a very, very cheap deal. Uh, we can probably, we might not even look at two million on app hit for him. Uh, so yeah, Jerome Baker, Jason Sanders, uh, Preston Williams. Yeah, it's just gonna be one of those. Let's see how he does. See if we need to go look at drafting some more. Because I mean, we do have Waddle and. Uh, Grant. So, but I mean, he is right now our number one. So, Howard, we're going to see how he does there remaining in the, uh, with the two back set. So, these contracts we'll come back to. I mean, 11 million over three years really is not that bad for Jordan Howard. Getting in here, week six. I'll finish up the scouting here, the offensive line, hit the upgrades, and we'll go ahead. We'll let the sim go and take take care of the Bengals. All right, so you know, scouting upgrades have been taken care of, facing the one and three Bengals, and we lost in a close one, thirty four twenty eight. So offense is putting up points. But the defense has surrendered way too much as we go and get ready to face off against the 5-1 and one New Orleans Saints. All right, we dropped 35-21 to the Saints. Van Noy bringing that veteran presence, coming in, seeing what we can do to you know, make a difference here. Well, I'm back in core. You know, at least the game I played gave up way too much underneath. Uh, and of course, oh hey, let's hold them, hold the Panthers to under 50 rushing yards with CMC. So that'll be will be a little test. After this game, we'll go ahead, we'll jump in, we'll look to see uh, where we sit uh, statistically halfway through the year. Advancing through this, and we lose another one. So this season. You know, has been absolutely horrible. We only have two wins on the year. You know, it's... I don't know what we're doing wrong here with the Dolphins. You know, they they have the talent. Yeah, we moved on from Parker, but in the first... Uh, the first season, we really didn't use Parker much. So, let's try to get Chubba involved. We're we're taking on a two and five Bills team, so we really it's a winnable game. 
uh, as we currently sit. Third place. If we lose this one, we're going to drop to you know bottom dwellers of the division. Seeing if the Sim can go and pull off a win, and again they don't. Thirty-eight twenty-two. This season is looking to be another wa uh, wash. Um, it's actually panning out worse than season one. All right, again we lose thirty-five thirty-two. To the Jets, who, you know, sitting, what, second in the division, tied for first against those Patriots. So, once again, Miami, you know, not looking hot. Not being that, that strong receiving core. Well, just team. Not I wouldn't even say receiving core. Uh, you know, as I said earlier, we'd go, we'd take a look at midseason stats. You know, we're not getting the ball thrown around. Is it is it our offensive line not being solid, not giving to enough time? You know, he has 20 sacks on the season, so could be uh, rushing. You know, Chad Hubbard, 113, 464, four touchdowns receiving wise. Jalen Waddle leads the team. You know, Preston Williams, their number one. He doesn't have those number one. You know, numbers that we'd like to see, but that's normal in a uh, Madden sim. They never, they don't show love to, uh, you know, your number one receivers. Uh, defensively, Tom is leading the way, 65 tackles. PFLs, right, Ogba leads the way, 13. Uh, Sacks. Christian Wilkins has three, which all three of those came in that Patriots. So, other than that, he has not had a sack at all. Very low on interception. Um, you know, Xavier Howard. You know, I was I was high on him whenever I started this rebuild, but I think this is now second. I don't think he had any. You know, last season for us. Okay, so he had one. You know, once two sacks in the last two years, he's still sitting at none. With the thirty-first offense and the twentieth defense, so it's a it's almost time to call season two a wash. All right, so here we are, two and seven, taking on three and six, Las Vegas Raiders. Um, don't think this this season, you know, we're gonna get any more play, you know, especially since we keep dropping games, twenty seven to ten. It this is horrible. Like, why aren't we able to contend at all? At least keep some of the games close. All right, two and eight Dolphins against the five and five Buccaneers. I don't even know if Brady's still their quarterback. Um, if he is, if he's not, they toasted us. Let's take a look to see who is the uh, who's the Bucks quarterback now, yeah, and it is still Brady, forty-four years old, you know, just cooking us, still holding on, you know. To that overall fairly well, 87. You know, they, from what I see, their team hasn't changed. Uh, all right, Rondell Moore, which is just a younger, better version of Scotty Miller there. I mean, even, you know, another, you know, Chris Godwin. So, Bucks are still still dangerous. So in that thirty-four to thirteen, you know, blowout loss, we ended up losing Camus Gruger Hill, the team's leading tackler, for three weeks due to a torn labrum. Um, as now, I mean, the Jets, you know, as we all know, the Jets were in complete rebuild mode, you know, as of last year, and. Now they're sitting at seven and four. So whatever they're doing, maybe we should go ahead and look 
you know, maybe bring some of their front office in. Uh, as we drop 24 to 10, putting us at 2 and 10 on the season. And as the Jets, you know, improved to 8 and 4, I think it is. All right, 2 and 10 Dolphins now. You know, it's sad I only get to change the last number for us. Here we go, taking on the 5 and 7 Tennessee Titans. Most likely another loss. And somehow we, we pulled out 35-31. Finally get a win. Maybe maybe it's because we went and signed. We extended you know Preston Williams and a few of those other guys. But, I mean, taking a look, like I said, Jason Saunders, we, were, we extended him a five-year deal. We never touched any of his money. He will only be... A five hundred thousand dollar cap hit, so that's you know always a plus for us. Looking at it here, Jordan Howard, it's still going to be. We have to see how he does. Agba, you know the overall nice. We don't we don't really have to look. At but maybe in this draft we do have a lot of picks. Uh, you know maybe we'll be able to go and do something there. Uh, looking at right outside linebackers, since you know we do need that. We have Brian Hawkins here, six foot, two twenty two, out of Clemson, run stuffer. You know he's, you know, third round, uh, projected with uh, you know late first round talent. So we might be able to grab him there in the second. That that'll that would be a big boost. Uh, we never know when Van Noy is going to retire. You know, all that. Even Dwight Haynes, you know, seventh, seventh round, you know, projection, fourth round talent could be a very you know, good value there. Corner, Xavier and Howard has been bad for us. So. You know, as you see, at least the first couple there, they're not the greatest. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll spend these, you know, the upgrade points for the players as the three and ten. I got to actually change the first number that time. Take on the eight and five Patriots, who we beat in overtime, our first matchup. And we beat them again, 24-27. Look out, Miami's on a roll. You know, unfortunately, it's, it's way too late. And the only thing that Miami is doing now is hurting, you know, their draft pick. So, continuing to look here, what do we want to do as far as, you know, the draft... Got all right. Uh, if this all right, this is the first time I've seen this happen with Madden generated classes. The centers are all green chip, so that I've never seen that happen in you know, any rebuild with uh, you know, just Madden generated classes. Usually, this is what I see. Hopefully, you know, a bunch of the, you know, Madden guys can reach out there to uh, the devs and actually get it fixed. I know earlier watching the guy, he, uh, he looked at it, you know, pretty much, you know, this year's draft. There was, out of the top... The top 10 guys, every single one had a dev trait. You know, they, somebody, they at least came out star or above. Uh, majority of the time in the Madden rebuilds, the number of hidden dev traits, you know, out of the first 10 that he did, only one of them had a hidden dev. So Madden really needs to fix that algorithm because I bet you any money I could go after the draft, 
look at undrafted free agents and find you know a few. Hamu's back. He's able to play as we take on the eight and six Buffalo Bills. And again, we win. So, um, okay, we suffered another injury. Preston Williams, he gets that, you know, that deal. And he tears his labrum. So he's out four weeks. He's done for the year. Um, so I guess on the plus side, he'll be healthy next season. You know, not as much wear and tear on the body. All right, to end out the year, we take on the 11-4 and four Texans. Most likely, they're probably resting their starters. Uh, so there's a chance we could finish out the year on a high note. And we do. We win 28-21. Like I said, unfortunately, you know, a little too late before we get on that little hot streak, winning the last, you know, few of ours, finishing up 6-10. and 10. So improvement on last year. Uh, players are developing more. Uh, is is that you know what everything what it's doing um, for the most part you know a couple of those close games that we had there if we would have won them we could have still been in contention uh, but as far as year two goes it's not on us we go through this stretch. Eight straight that we lost, and then to go and win our final four. You know, if that was the other way around, absolutely fantastic! Fantastic, we're in the playoffs. We're not going home, and we're not preparing for the uh, off-season draft. So, getting in, taking a look here at you know the Pro Bowl. Did we get anybody in? I have no idea. Remember, we're AFC. It sucks seeing Laramie Tunzel there. You know, knowing that at one point he was with with us here. That Brandon Jones? If so, good for him. Coming in, you know, free safety one, getting that starting. Uh, yeah, that's that's him. You know, fantastic, which we'll be able to see. We got the Saints versus the Jets in the Super Bowl. Weird not seeing Dallas up there in the sim. Um, while we go, we're going to go, we're going to take a look, see if that was actually our guy that made the Pro Bowl. And it was Brandon Jones, free safety out of Texas, made his, had his first Pro Bowl appearance. You know, all right, we're getting Miami there on the map a little bit. Um, taking a look here, yearly awards, most likely nobody. Deshaun Watson, MVP. Uh, Cam Newton was your best best quarterback. We beat him twice. Once myself, once the uh, you know CPU. So I'll take it. Offensive, you know, offensive rookie of the year. We got Chuba Hubbard and Jalen Waddle coming in number two and three. Defensively, didn't have anybody. We didn't really have. We didn't have anybody that started. Uh, Chuba Hubbard there at eight. Seaver wise, Waddle coming in at eight. So okay, we're we're getting there. You know, we're at least getting that name out there in the league. Uh, so that's always a good thing. Sure, we didn't have any of this. All right, Byron Jones. Okay, he made number eight. So we're. You know, all the individual awards, we're sitting there at the bottom. Uh, there's Jason Saunders there at five. So it's always good to see, you know, we're at least getting some exposure to the league. 
All right, so here we go. Jumping into the off season, we got you know a couple players we want to go and extend. Hopefully, I can still do it once I back out. I can. So, you know, we wanted to look at the stats uh, for the team. Tua, you know, he was able to turn it around there towards the end of the season, finishing thirty five hundred yards, twenty three touchdowns, ten interceptions. Uh, Hubbard played solid. You know, Howard, he's there, you know, six touchdowns. He had one fumble. Ugh. I don't I I think I think we'll let Howard walk. You know, I know there's there's a couple guys late round I might be able to grab. You know, Jalen Waddle, you know, big year. You know, it's back to back years of us having a you know, Thousand yard receiver Jesse Davis, 15 games, no sacks. Absolutely fantastic. All right, so now we're just going to look at the stats for Ogba. You know, Jerome Baker led the way 124 sacks. I mean, t- hell, I wish 124 sacks on a year. Ugh, 124 tackles. Uh, defensive Ogba. Absolutely. 20 TFLs. And then Van Noy there with 16. Good job coming with 14. I'd say our, our defense you know, was there on the run. Also leading the team. Well, tied for sacks. So, okay. Uh, interceptions wise, Brandon Jones, Byron Jones both led the team with three. Xavier, Xavier Howard finally got his one on the year. So we finished 31st offense in the 17th defense. So since we last looked, offense stayed the same. Uh, Two of his numbers did improve. So Agba don't like paying that. Can we get him at just over six? All right. Understandable. We could burn the money. I don't know how much it would be for us to franchise tag him. But we can't justify spending that much money you know, for two years on an aging you know, D-lineman. So here looking free agency. Monte Adams. All right, so Miami, they couldn't, they couldn't get the job done. Fred Warner, somebody, he would be a huge addition to this defense. So we'll throw a bit out there. Nobody else is on him. McGlinchey, another key. Jack Lawson. He's there. We still got him. You know, it, it's it's tough to side on what we want to do. You know, we're we're good with two. We're good with our quarterbacks. You know, of course, you can hear the dogs in the background just shaking. For some reason, they feel like twelve fifty in the morning. They need to, you know, walk around, make all sorts of noise. Uh, all right, so we're good there. Receiver wise, Devontae Adams would be you know, a nice addition, but we don't want to tie up all our money there. As well, especially spending you know a good bit of our money, bring trying to bring in Fred Warner. Now, really, the the best upgrade that we have here is bringing in. You know, Colton Miller, Miller, he's 26, 79 overall, so it'd be, you know, same dev trait. 
he has seven point overall increase, but for nine million a year. Connor Williams, we saw what happened in our last one with that. It's it sounds good, but we can't take the risk. Plus, you know, as you see down there, the depth chart, everybody on our team, as far as offensive linemen, um, are up over a 70 now. The one nice thing is Agba is not the top, you know, free agent. But, you know, of course, he wants, I think, the same, if not a little more, in free agency. So, good for him. One more, we can go ahead and bring in Josh Sweat. Reasonable deal. You know, we can actually lowball him. Bring him in cheap. Coming in, still in the green. Oh, the yellow, but would be a nice addition. Big upgrade, seven point upgrade over Strobridge. You know, our defensive line I'm I'm happy with as far as all that. Um linebacking core. Got a few that I'm looking at there in the draft. Uh but yeah, Fred Warner would be huge to have him come in. Um I mean, Xavier Howard has been bad, and that's that's a given. Do we look at replacing Xavier? Let's. So that would pretty much eat up all our money, and we don't even get him to what he's asking for. So we're definitely out on that. Um, so we're going to advance here, see if we can go ahead and grab any of the guys that we put bids in on. And, you know, nobody. So looking at negotiations, we, we want to go, we want to keep him. We want to do, you know, our best to bring in Fred Warner. And Josh Sweat, we're still the first. All right, so Fred Warner de declined our offer. Unfortunately. Got a couple fifth-year options here. <clears throat> Christian Wilkins, he was solid for us last year. Go ahead, lock him up. Keep him, you know, at least get him that extra year. So we're back up to 26 million. There's still zero bids out there for Devontae Adams. We're still the leading bid for Josh Sweat. Go ahead, let's take a look at linebackers. See if there's anybody still floating around there. I mean, overall, our linebacking core is not bad. They're young. You know, we got Jerome Baker with at least a star dev, so he's, you know, improving. Yeah, Leon Jacobs, he's not bad. Kendricks is now a superstar. So I mean We'll go ahead, we'll let we'll let this uh this lot ride. We'll you know hopefully be able to go ahead and pull Josh Sweat, but who knows so far we haven't had luck in anybody that we've tried to bid for in free agency. Alright, we were able to bring in Josh Sweat. 
So that's at least a plus. Good, uh, good upgrade to our offense there. I, I'm sorry, our defensive line. Uh, taking a look at the team, we're currently a 70 overall, 77 offense, 81 defense. Um, looking here, the depth chart. You know, offensive line's growing. I know the beginning of last season, we only had Eric Flowers, who is now only a plus one on the year. So that's not good. Jalen Waddle came out a star dev uh, defensively. You know, nothing happened. We got Josh Sweat in there. It's really the only big thing so coming here into the uh, draft all right here at the draft we got you know a lot of options here at pick six i'm, I'm sorry seven you know do we had a you know few hit in there what do we do do we go defense do we you know look at uh, I get up there, Matt Langford, who looks absolutely phenomenal. Great pro day. They said about him being a track star, but a four six one, you know, ninth fastest. Do we go offensive line? Because I mean, we don't pick again until second round. So there's a few, you know, maybe one of these guys will fall. But we also have John Chancellor there. Do we go after our, uh, you know, maybe he's going to fall. We have Ed Barnes, which I think is a much better you know, pick out of San Diego State than um, Matt Langford. So I think what we'll do here, we'll go look to you know, keep improving that defense. You know, I know there were a lot of games last season that were up over 30 some points. So with the seventh pick in the draft, Miami is going to look is going to go out and we're going to go and take Ed Barnes. 76 overall. Look at that. He was number seven and we drafted him at seven. Solid. You know, 90 speed, 88 tackle. Block shed, play rec. Yeah, we'll bring that up. We run a lot of zone, so that's not ideal. But. I mean, he's a freak athlete. So hopefully we'll be able to go and, you know, build him and build him fast. All right, here with the seventh pick in the second round, now looking at Brian Hopkins, you know, fantastic combine as well. Clemson produces, they produce speed. So, I mean, we can take him six foot, 222. Or there is uh, Leonard Moore. He's projected a second rounder, but first round talent. Again, solid. Uh, I want to say there was one more that I was looking at. No, that was it. But I think what we do... Is do we take more? He's projected a late. All right. So the game plan is to take Brian Hopkins here at this pick. Then we pick again at number 19. So hopefully. Number 19, the other outside backer will still be there. So with the seventh, the 
Second round, number seven, Ryan Hopkins. You got a hidden depth. Number 32, true talent. So, you know, 71 overall, almost a scheme fit. You know, we could also look at him. He has the size to move down to defensive end, get him, you know, that, get him out there, get, uh, get exposure to the league. So, overall, fantastic pick. All right, so the other linebacker that we were looking at, the left outside linebacker was taken. Um, I mean, looking at it, we got to go offensive line. Get that extra depth. 16th bench. You know, do we go center? He has the possibility to move out to you know, left guard. I don't think I have any left guard scouted to kind of compare. I mean, let's look at it. Layer Hill. So 6'4", 297. Looking at the draft, the left guards. He's, he'd be a small guard as far as weight-wise, weight, weight wise, but he's not terrible. Probably, probably pan out better than all these other uh, guards out there. So here with our second pick, Keep adding to the, you know, this time we're going to jump over. We're going to, you know, add to the offense. Blair Hill, 70 overall, number 47, 51 in, uh, out of, we got in there at 51. All right, so here we are in the third round. We got three picks this round, 7, 19, 22. Um, let's see, what do we need? Offensive line. I'll always need depth. Uh, can always bring in a second running back. Do we look at bringing a corner? I mean, looking here, Raymond Matthews looks absolutely solid. Should be able to grab him one of our later round picks there in the. In the third, uh, Nigel Hilton, you know, slow. I mean, what am I kidding? I probably wouldn't even run in the fours, but for a corner, four, five, two, not really what we're looking at. We already got a right outside linebacker. You know, we got Victor Bromley, not bad. You know, Antonio Benjamin could, could look to, you know, bounce him outside. So, I mean, it's really where do we go from here? Uh, there's more, there's guys later around. But I think what we do is it could be a reach, you know, mid fourth. But he's, you know, second round talent. DeMarco War. War Wolford, out of Florida, bringing him in. 70 overall. Wasn't a reach. He's set 44 in true talent. We got him there at 71. So, again, added depth. Um, who knows? He could actually fight for the uh, for a starting job somewhere on that offensive line. Here we are. Number pick 19 of the third round. We're looking here Still, still out there. There's Hilton, which who was it we were looking at? I don't remember. There's Cousins, Demarco Long, Raymond. Yeah, Raymond. I think. Bring in Hilton here. Now, another good pick. He's actually one 
one point of true talent better than our last pick. So again, always a plus. Make sure that these guys don't take who we want. Don't want to. So far, looking good. All right, so we will be able to select any of the free safeties that we wanted. It's now just which one. Or do we now? All right, so looking at the free safeties. Undrafted here. Looks solid. No four speed. I mean, I think out of the free safeties that I have on the on our big board, I think Raymond Matthews out of San Diego State, the hybrid is you know our best pick mid second rounder talent again so we got 43 44 and 45 in true talent another 70 overall all right we already got our you know free safety do we look at bringing in another strong could be a possibility do we look at, you know, bring one of them in and, you know, possibly switching them over to a, a corner? But Terrence Cousins, he, you know, could come down there into the box. Could look at running him as one of the, uh, you know, linebackers, possibly. Same thing with DeMarco Long. So, I mean, really, it's a toss-up here. But I think our best bet would be go Terrence Cousins, the hybrid strong safety out of Lafayette. All right, our first sub-70 overall guy. Um, 91 speed. He needs, he needs work. Uh, but, you know, he could get in there at some point, make some plays. All right, so Philly took the cornerback that I wanted to take here, this, draft, this pick. Uh, he took keys. So, you know, uh, keep adding to our corner. Depth. What do we got there? Because I mean, we got some guys later rounds as well. Do we look at trying to bring in a, another a power back? We'll grab him. We'll take Melvin Neighbors. Power back out LSU. Not not the greatest three cone 20 yard shuttle, but he will be great in uh at least I, I believe he could be great when we're looking at uh red zone situations. So there we go. We're back above the. We're back at the seventy mark. Um, neighbors coming in there at that seventy. Looks like a freak power back. The only thing in his core attributes that's down is his change of direction, which he's a power back. He's a guy that you know puts his head down and he's just gonna truck people. All right. So like I was talking about earlier with the whole dev trade stuff. Let's uh, so we're gonna take a look at the, you know, like I said, this year Madden twenty one, the rookies that came in, all ten of them had a dev trade. 
at least star. So looking at you know, the top, not necessarily the top 10 picks here in, you know, Madden generated, you know, class, but the top 10 overall rookies, we're going to go ahead and look to see how many of them have a dev trait and I'd I'd put money on it. I'd be I'd be lucky to see two. All right, so you know, not going and looking really here at the ties as far as for seventy five, but looking at number ten, normal. Nine, normal. One, Isaac Newhouse. Another normal. Normal. All right, two. So we're we're sitting there. We're at two. You know, like I I called. You know, no, my luck. Since I'm doing this, you know, it proved me wrong and throw three like Shelton Johnson. All right, so four, four out of the top ten overalls in this rebuild. So, I mean, but then again, if I took time to go through and look at some of the undrafted, I'm sure I'd find a few. Typically, that's the way the Madden Sim has been. And looking here at our draft class, you know, solid. 70s across the board. Then we get, you know, Terrence Cousins. You know, who knows? He could go up. He could probably, most likely, he'll drop if we move him. Uh, and Will Samuel, we got him more for depth. Uh, he was the best left tackle that was, you know, still on the board. So, yeah, that, that right there recaps the draft. All right, so here we go, kicking off. Season three of the Miami Dolphins rebuild. Um, team came on hot towards the end of the year, win four, winning the last four after dropping eight in a row. Uh, offense is a 78 overall, 77. Yeah, I'm sorry, team is a 78 overall, offense 77, defense still sitting there at that 81. Uh, we did throw a few guys up on the trade block, uh, Eric Flowers. You know, we passed him up here. He's the last year of his deal. Uh, Eric Rowe and Bobby McCain as well. <clears throat> so, so far we don't have any offers for him. Um, yeah, we'll go through. We'll just hit this upgrade here. And, you know, obviously the goal for this year will be for seven wins. Hit four. Hopefully, we can continue to improve, and maybe, maybe hit the uh, hit the playoffs. Who knows? But for this episode, I'm out of here. Um, you know, as as normal. You know, likes. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button. Uh, drop some comments. Let me know what you guys, you know, if you guys are enjoying these rebuilds. Um, if it's something you want, you know, you could find yourself doing. Maybe eventually. You know, let me know other videos that you want me to drop. I got some ideas in my head. Um, I just got to have time to, to do them. But down at the bottom of the screen, my Twitch, my Twitter, uh, obviously the YouTube. And, of course, my Instagram, where I post majority of the time all of my game clips and pretty much, pretty much anything is down there at the bottom. Everything is Philly Carnage, except for the IG. That is Philly Carnage TV. Uh, again, thank you guys for, you know, sitting with me through this episode, you know, hanging out. Um, we'll be back here in a few days with episode three. So until then.
Phillies out.